Let me get to Danielle for Ryan's Roses. It's time. She says that uh, today is her husband and her wedding anniversary. And she wants us to make a call on this day, which is crazy. Mm -hmm. Uh, Danielle, thank you for coming on. Why do you want us to do a Ryan's Roses call on your wedding anniversary day today? I'm concerned because things just have been kind of bad between us. Like he's been distant and he constantly kind of seems like he wants to be somewhere else. And I don't know if he's cheating. He might be. But I figured if he gets offered free flowers for our anniversary and doesn't send them to me, we have a problem. And if he sends them to someone else, then at least I'll know why. Wow. I mean, that's an explosive, explosive call to make today on that very day that would be the celebration of how many years of marriage? Nine. Okay. And do you have, you're just distant. That's the only thing that you're sensing here? He's just not engaged? I, I mean, I guess I call it a woman's intuition, that there's just something, there's something that I can sense is off with him, and he's just not really communicating with me the way he normally does. All right. What if he's planning something, though, for your aunt? Like, you could be potentially ruined. I hope something. that's what it is. That would be so great. I hope so. But, okay. All right, hold on one sec. That's risky. I think so too. I don't know if she's. She well, let's tell her we don't want to do it. Wants. Like we don't want to do we it. We don't want to do it. I don't want to be involved in that. If he's like secretively planning something, that's why he's being distant. I know. That's what I'm feeling. All right, we'll come back and we'll make the call to her husband. I just set this up. Today's their wedding anniversary. She wants us to call. She feels he's being distant. Disney, I think you may be right. Maybe he's planning a surprise, and that's why he's acting a little shifty. But Danielle's so like, too. that'd be great, but I want to know. So, Danielle, we're going to follow your lead on this against our own better judgment. If it were me, well, I can't say that because I'm not married. So I, I don't know how you feel. All I need you to do is stay very quiet until we tell him he's on the air. And right now, just need you to say, Ryan, you have my permission to call and then his name. Go ahead. Ryan, you have my permission to call. We're going to do that right now. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Good luck. Be very quiet. Hello, this is Joe. Hi. Hi, Joe. My name is Hi. Missy. I'm calling from The Secret Bloom. How are you doing this morning? Uh, I'm fine. Yeah, thank you. Um, so we, we service the Oxnard area, and we're trying to promote our delivery service. So we're offering local residents a promotion today. It's free dozen red roses that you can send to anybody that you'd like. They are free. We don't need cash, credit card info, anything like that from you. Um, just the name of the person that you want to send them to, and we can put a note, and they can have them by lunchtime today. Are you kidding me? Really? Is this real? Oh, my gosh. This is just such a blessing if it's it's the real thing. Oh, my gosh. That's great. Yeah. Um, uh, I'd like to uh, – is there a card that goes with it or something? Uh-huh. Why don't we start with the name yeah. of the person you want to send them to? Oh, that, that's going um, to Danielle. She's my wife. Okay. And what would you like to put on the uh-huh. card? Um. To my one and only happy ninth anniversary. Oh, that's special. Okay. Oh. To my one and only. Joe, 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 Joe. Hey, how are you, Joe? Congratulations. We are on the radio now. Your voice is being broadcast, and I've got your wife, Danielle, on the line. Hi, Danielle. Hi. So, Joe, oh. in addition uh, to our celebratory yeah. call, just wanted to also ask you about your um well danielle said you were being a little bit distant recently and she was concerned does that make any sense oh yeah yeah it it does okay what's going on Um, joe well um i'll be honest with you i um i just been under a lot of stress and at my job and to tell you the truth honey i i didn't tell you this before because i didn't want you to worry but um, I lost my job and, um, I just been trying to find another one, you know, and oh. I just didn't want you to worry. Oh my, God. oh my God. You lost your job. Why didn't you tell me? Well, I, you know, it, it was just weird because it's, I mean, it's just this whole thing at, at, at work and it's just toxic over there, you know? And there was this rumor going around that I don't know how this started, but that I'd had an affair with one of the bosses 
You know, it's ridiculous. What? Um, I'm sorry, you got fired because people thought you had an affair? Yeah, but but I didn't. I didn't. I didn't have an affair. But why did they think you did? Why did that happen? Why did they start that rumor? What happened? I don't know. It's just. It's just kind of, you know, people are always up in everybody's business over there. It's just kind of messy, and it's just, you know, it's just a bunch of gossip mongers. I just, you know, it's just, I just really don't want to be there anymore, uh, honestly. And I, I don't know why they did it. I, you know, look, I'm friendly, and I'm, you know, I'm flirty, I guess. You know, and I guess people took it the wrong way. I don't know. But there's nothing well, going on. I Joe, maybe not. you shouldn't be so flirty, right? You're married. Yeah. Maybe flirtation at work is a bad idea. Yeah. Look, Danielle, you heard enough there. Let me let you guys take this off the air and see what you can get uh, resolve or get clarity on. Uh, I don't think your husband's cheating, but he might not be uh, doing everything right when he's not there, when he's at work. So you you guys need to talk. Okay, Joe, thank you very much for answering the questions. Thank you, Danielle, for oh. reaching out. Oh, thanks. Thank uh, you. Thanks. And thanks for the flowers. Good luck. Happy anniversary. Yeah. Good luck. Well, he's fired from his job, and he said he was flirty. Really be going through it. If you're going to call your husband on your ninth wedding anniversary, the day of, to find out why he's been distant, are you re- like, I would definitely give it the day. I'd give it till tomorrow. Because maybe something surfaces today. Maybe you realize that he's been planning something. Or in this case, Joe was fired from his job, and he didn't want to tell his wife. Because... Uh, but he was saying he was flirtatious at work. I, it didn't sound. I don't believe him. I you think, think he, he was, was cheating? Having, yes. Why wouldn't he? Why wouldn't he go to his wife right when these rumors started? I agree. If they weren't true. Well, that's true. Out of his own defense. You know what I mean? Like, hey, like this is crazy that this is happening. Help me, almost. You know, like your unit, you're a team. When he said my wife, when he said it, he sounded like Billy Bob Thornton. <sighs> To me. Interesting comparison. I'm not uh-huh. comparing the story, just the voice sounded like that right. to me. Yeah, I can All see right. that. Thank you, Patty. So you're saying he got fired because he was doing something at work, probably, with somebody else. Or at I don't work think doing you can something. get fired for rumors. Like, I don't think that that's legit. Well, Brianna, thank you for coming on. You heard Ryan's Roses. You think it was a roller coaster? I think it was a roller coaster, yes. And and more to the story? What do you mean? Um, Well, you don't just get fired over something like that. There's more. He's not telling us something. He did something. And Mm -hmm. we're tasteless? Like, what Mm -hmm. what is that? That's like cheating. Like, you know, you don't, like, there is way more to that story. First, I loved him. I thought, oh, he's sending it to his, his wife. And then I'm like, wait, what? He got fired? Then I hated them. There's, there's something. There's more to that story. Huh. Yeah. Well, I mean, I can see it now just like I can after you make those points. It's a little more clear. Uh, but, yeah, I guess if he got fired from work, something, and he was hiding from his wife, something he doesn't want to talk about happened. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. What a bummer. Even- you could probably sue something like that. Like, you, you know, there there would be, if he was completely innocent, you know, there would be. Right, like wrongful, wrongful fire. You would fight something. it. Yeah. Like you would, I don't know, file a grievance or something. Like it was, mm. you could fight your work for that. Be like, I am being framed. Or I something. mean, this is a bummer, right? Nine years they're together and they should be celebrating their ninth year wedding anniversary. And then they're going through this. This is a bummer. Yeah. Ooh. Mm-hmm. What a what a what a shocker! You don't see that one coming. Like, wait, what? Well, you did. Uh, I didn't. But Brianna, thank you very much for calling. You take care. But what a bummer. Yeah, Between it's sad. that and you and Michael fighting over this dog, it's too much drama for me today. 